this one coming together late. And we are excited for it. Strawweight kickboxing, stamped toe-to-toe -to -toe with Supergirl, an exciting battle inside the one circle, and a battle for Thai pride. She is a bona fide superstar. Stamp Fairtex. She is a fan favorite in and outside of the one circle. ที่นอนเปิดตัวที่เห็นเหมือนหนูมีความสุขมีเอ่อหัวล้อยิ้มอะไรพวกนี้หนูพยายามจะเอนเตอร์เทนหลายๆคนตอนนี้ค่ะห
By the looks of it, as always, Stamp enjoying her best life as she walks into the one circle here tonight in Bangkok in front of her home fans. She's doing Muay Thai since she was five years of age. One Muay Thai world champ and now a star in MMA as well. Yeah, Brent, she started the week with a huge TKO over me when she tattooed me upside the head, but Stamp Fairtex is truly something special. Her hands, her combinations, her kicks, she's punishing everywhere. I really like the way she jumps back and forth between all the sports, but there's no better person to break this young lady down than this man, the one that discovered her, Mr. Rick Franklin. Yeah, you know, Stamp and I have some history here in the organization. I'm the one that brought her in. She showed up to my first ever One Warrior Series tryout here in Bangkok. And at the moment that I heard her kicking those pads, I knew exactly what we had on our hands here tonight with someone like Stamp. Stamp brings a lot to the circle tonight. So I'll tell you what she needs to do. She needs to start off quick because Supergirl is the kind of fighter that is going to come forward and pressure, pressure, pressure. So Stamp needs to get out there, start quick, not allow her to do that. Overwhelm Supergirl with volume. Keep in mind this is a kickboxing match and one of Stamp's Signature techniques is catching that kick and returning with, with the counters. Counters the body, counters the head. She can't do that tonight in kickboxing. That's a Muay Thai rule that you can do. The last thing she's got to do here is finish with some good combinations with Supergirl. Yeah, it's interesting to see that this is a kickboxing matchup, you know, and how big Supergirl was. She's got like a nine pound advantage in this one and the reach. So they're both of them, because it's kickboxing, their best weapons are gone. The catch and counter and the clinch for Supergirl. So it'll be interesting to watch the adjustments. With the introductions, once again, Tom Lau. Next up, we have three three-minute rounds of women's strawweight kickboxing. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Olivier Cost. And now, introducing out of the blue corner, training out of Chanun Sak Muay Thai, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 39 and 5, representing Thailand, Hannah Supergirl Jarun And introducing her opponent out of the red corner. She is a former one atomweight Muay Thai and kickboxing world champion and the number one atomweight MMA contender. Training out of Fairtex Gym, holding a Muay Thai and kickboxing record of 63 and 17. Also representing Thailand. Stamp Fairtex. Toy Sam Yok kickboxing, ham sok, ham holding na. Okay, chon me. Final instructions from Olivier Cost. These two found out they would fight. Kickboxing straw weight right, judge, just yesterday. Judge, judge time. Ready? Ready? Choke! A battle of Thai fighters here in Bangkok doesn't get a whole lot better than this. And you can see the size difference in Supergirl. She immediately starts to push forward and let those hands go. Supergirl not going to play games here tonight, Mitch. This is what I was talking about with Supergirl. She does press forward. She is a forward pressure fighter, and that's why I'm saying Stan needs to get out of the gates quickly because if she allows Supergirl to just impose her will on her, that could be the beginning of the end. Supergirl, eight inch reach advantage, nine pounds heavier coming in. Big straight bite. And on the defense early on is Stan. I like that counter right hand that Stan's on as uh, Supergirl rushes forward. Keep my line, keep my line. 19 years of age. A Supergirl joined one championship in 2016 and exploded onto the scene. I should say at age 16, so three years ago. Nice exchange there. On oh, a big right and a left hook. Supergirl looking good. Yeah, Supergirl is going hands heavy early. She goes low kick. I'd like to see her start mixing up these combinations. Stamps counter with that right hand really well. 
It's interesting the big step in that Supergirl is taking because she's the one with the eight inch reach advantage. She should be able to manage that distance. You see she just overcommitted on that punch right there. That's what she likes. She likes to get really tight. She likes to get inside that clinch range, but you can see how she's kind of adjusted her style to these kickboxing rules. the wall and then a big right on the exit. Oh, a nice flurry and accommodation from Stan. Good stuff in the opening round as they trade Leather. Yeah, Supergirl's trying to bully the smaller Stan Fairtex around the circle, but Stan's doing a good job of utilizing that movement. She's got to be careful not to get trapped up against that fence, though. Supergirl slowed down a little bit. She's still coming forward, though. 30 seconds, round one. 10 point must system here in kickboxing. As of yesterday, they were both preparing for completely different opponents with completely different styles and sports, so this has got to be a you know, difficult adjustment. You have to ask yourself this question. Stamp was going to compete Muay Thai rounds against Anissa Mexen, and then it was a hybrid fight, so she was also going to compete in MMA rounds. So the question you gotta ask yourself here is how much time was she actually spending on her grappling or her mixed martial arts as opposed to her Muay Thai, and then stepping into this, kickboxing, which is completely different. Yeah, she recently just leveled up in BJJ, so you know she's been spending a lot of time on the mat. Impact Arena here in Bangkok in the corner of Stamp Fairtex. Look at this pressure. Supergirl having a hard time finding the range. Stamp Fairtex throwing a little bit with more accuracy there. She was able to counter with some good shots. Supergirl applying a lot of pressure, but she keeps running into that right hand. See, beautifully done by Stamp Fairtex off the wall, two no less. But then she was able to find some good shots, create a little bit of space, and connect with some good punches. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Stamp take this many steps backwards in the match. Yeah. I mean, you can see that she is the smaller athlete. Oh, no. She's kind of getting bullied around. One flyaway world champ, circle side. Demetrius Johnson, Friday, May 5th. Boots on the ground in America, just outside of Denver. Right, ready? As he looks to defend his belt ready? in the flyweight division in the trilogy fight against Adriano Marias. And he will join us, DJ Will here live to help us call the three world title fights later on. Supergirl feeling good with that exchange to open around two. Nice right hand by Stamp there. But this forward pressure and this aggression that Supergirl is showing is going to score very well in the judges' eyes. Absolutely. I think Stamp is having problems with this because normally she's just catching the leg right there, stopping the forward pressure, countering to the body and then to the head, and then pressuring forward herself. That tool's been taken away from her, so Supergirl's just able to just continue mowing her down. How do you have that first round scored, Rich? I, I was hoping, hoping you wouldn't ask me that. <laughs> and I love it when you do. Pressure on. This is a tough one to score because there's a lot of volume for both of these girls, and they're both landing punches like these ladies are. Yeah, but Stamps landing with a little bit more accuracy, but the forward pressure and the aggression is definitely being showcased by Supergirl. Stamps with a heavy right, then the outside leg kick. Hello. Supergirl with a flurry but didn't land. You know, and the judges don't have really the, the monitors in front of them. There are different angles. So all they're really seeing is whatever, from whatever angle they are is that aggression that you that Supergirl is throwing. So Stamp needs to really do something and he starts going some points here. Big exchange here. Supergirl finding that rhythm and that distance. I'd like to see Stamp quit allowing Supergirl to back her to the cage, keep her back off the circle side and into the center. But you watch, Supergirl's gonna systematically walk her down to the cage here. And she takes very small steps laterally to cut her off. No, 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 no. To pin her there, Two. so she's not able to circle out. Stamp needs to be a little bit faster with her movement, just like that, right? So as soon as Supergirl came forward, she immediately circled out to the right. You see her 
play a little bit of mind games with each other. This is I, outstanding. I love the reaction from Supergirl. In the center of the one circle, they trade leather. Looks like Stamp almost tucks her chin down and just starts swinging with those punches. And she's actually landing, but it's just it's, something's different. Two women from here in Thailand, in front of their home fans. Stamp the veteran of the two, but Supergirl, again, taking this fight just yesterday. Both of them had different opponents until yesterday, but they look ready to roll. Final 10 seconds, round two. Mitch, I'm gonna ask you how you scored a second round because every exchange, someone's landing a big punch. Yeah, they're, they're both landing, you know, but it's just that forward pressure from Supergirl might be giving her the edge in the judge's eyes. You know, because aggression, it's the last category we score in, but it's really what's being shown. Get, get me some more. Okay, get some water. Here. You just need to get through this. You just need to get through this. Okay. Okay. You just have to wait until. See, this is what we see from Supergirl. She starts very fast, able to kind of knock Stamp off balance, and she giggles a little bit there as she does, as she stabs her way. But look at these combinations. Some of these things are landing cleanly. That was a clean first two punches, but she still followed it up. So there's the volume coming from Supergirl. But Stamp's also connecting as well. This is what I was talking about be before the fight actually began. We saw Supergirl when things slowed down with her and. and Katharina, she started just throwing a single punch, the jab or just the cross, and she's been throwing everything in combinations here. That's actually what she needs to do to win this match. Third and final round. Now we could be 1-1 right now, but I'm not quite sure. But so it could be anybody's game. And Stamp plays that knockout power. See, there's that catch you were talking about, Rich. She couldn't hold it back. <laughs> Supergirl's laughing it off. Stamp knows what she did. Olivia's giving him the warning. Two and a half minutes to go. Straw weight, kickboxing bout. Stamp and Supergirl. Stamp of the red gloves, Supergirl in the blue. Body kick from Stamp on a leg. In return from Supergirl. Man, if Supergirl's able to capture a win here over Stamp Vertex in Bangkok, Thailand, that's I mean, gonna be massive for her. No, no, no. For it. Just 19 years old. Man. Less than 24 hours notice as well. And sometimes you don't know what you don't know, especially when you're 19. Just bring on the next opponent, whoever is in front of me. Listen, I'm gonna, get def I'm gonna defend the girl here, Stamp. You know, she was actually preparing for a match that was hybrid with yes. some MMA guys, so she hasn't been going just complete stand-up here. And and we've taken her best tool away, which is the kick, the catch and counter, which we saw. Well, he's supposed to fight Anissa Maxson in an exhibition, mixed rules, four rounds, and Anissa Maxson did not show up to weigh in yesterday here in Bangkok. Anna's opponent missed weight, so it made perfect sense for these two to come together, and they have provided us with great entertainment here. Wow, that was a beautiful right hand from Stamp. Big shot to the face from Stamp, and then she takes a couple. Beautiful exchange. Tried to catch it again and throw. Quickly remember that uh, she was not able to do that, but she still wants to do it. They are standing and trading no, not, with a minute not, no. to go in the final round. I mean, they've learned about Stamp, though. To move up in this way, to go to straw way like this, oh, you against use that very large that, that. opponent in Supergirl. No, not with Tyler. Nine Two. pounds is the advantage for Supergirl, and we mentioned the eight-inch reach advantage. They've both been running their pace this entire, entire fight. Great as this. A couple of Thai fighters here in Bangkok putting on a show. 25 seconds. This could still be anybody's round, Brent. This is a, this a close round. Both these girls have landed some hard weather. Although Supergirl is still coming forward as Mitch keeps talking about asking the score on the judge's scorecard. She's been hit with some big shots that have snapped her head back. But if I was Stamp, I would not be taking my foot off the gas pedal right here.
this one comes to a finish. Close. You think it's close? I think it's close. It's definitely close. On your scorecards. Spot. Beach and punch, Mitch. Accuracy goes to Stam. Aggression goes to Supergirl. It's really just what the judges are looking for in this bout and how they're going to score in each one of those different categories. But a fun fight either way. I think the fans are the winners here regardless. So you give the win to the fans. Great call, Mitch. Here is Tom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one calls this contest in favor of Stab. Judge number two calls this contest in favor of Jarunsak. And judge number three calls this contest in favor of your winner by split decision. Stab! Decision victory for Stamp Vertex, an absolute superstar. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you could see, you could see Supergirl's demeanor change. She took a couple deep breaths before this match. You could see how nervous she was, but as the match went on, you could see her confidence growing. But Stamp, beautiful performance from both girls. This was, as Mitch was saying before, this is about the accuracy of the striking, the heavy strikes versus the aggression and the forward movement of Supergirl. It was nice seeing how the fight ended and the good energy between the two of them as well. All right, the dragon is standing by with the winner. Stamp Fairtex, that was a fun fight. How confident were you going to the judges' scorecards? ฉันหนุกมากเลยค่ะ <laughs> I actually prepared this fight for Anissa, but it's okay. I have to fight anyone they got for me. She was actually brilliant. She was amazing in this fight. How hard was it to make that adjustment so early on and really just come out and put on a performance like that? You were preparing for Anissa, mixed rules, super fight. Last minute, it gets changed to Supergirl. How was the preparation for that? kickboxing. <laughs> It wasn't a big change. I've always been a Muay Thai fighter. I only knew it very, very early on, but I got this. Yes, you did get this. And you know what else you got? You got $50,000! From Chatri Sinyatong, the CEO of One Championship. This is a great New Year's gift from me. Thank you so much. I am so happy. Thank you. Muay Thai kickboxing. MMA, what's next for Stamp Fairtex? I want to fight with Alicia and Janet Todd. 
Bangkok, stand up. May show your love to your winner, Stamp Fairtex. <laughs>